Hey friends, it's me, Miss Emily, here to show you how to make a fun mouse ear craft today to go with the stories that we read that went with our friend Mouse from If You Give a Mouse a Cookie or If You Give a Mouse a Brownie. So I have a fun little um, ear craft that I'm going to show you. And to start, you're going to need some construction paper, whatever color you want, for your mouse ears. You're going to need two different colors. So I'm going to use um, brown and pink because if you notice on a mouse, they're two different colors. You're going to need a glue stick or tape, whichever one you wanna use. You're gonna need some scissors and you'll probably need a pencil or marker if you have those on hand too. So to start, you're going to want to find something round. I use the jar to my, um, the lid to the candy jar. And you're going to want to trace, I don't know if you can really see that, but I traced a circle. And then you're gonna to wanna to find something that's a little bit smaller and trace another circle on your pink paper. And I already cut mine out, but you'll have a circle here. And then I'll work on cutting out my pink one as well. If you don't have something to trace, you are welcome to freehand some mouse ears. I'm cutting mine a little bit bigger um, because I kind of like the way it looks. But you can cut yours whatever size you want. Here is my pink circle. So I'm going to take my two circles and my glue. And I'm going to glue the pink circle onto my brown ear. A little bit of glue. Stick it on my ear. That's all you gotta do. Then with your scrap that you have, so this is what I use to cut my brown paper out, you're gonna cut some thicker strips using the scrap paper. That's enough to go and make like a headband around your head. So you may have to have somebody help you out as you go so that way you have um, enough pieces and you'll see mine kind of went together like that. So once you have all those you will glue or tape them together. I taped them because it was a little bit easier. I just taped it all together and then with the scraps of that if you have any more scrap on here so I have a little bit more just gonna take and cut out like a couple of square pieces to use to attach our ears so you just need to use up all those scraps you have laying around toss them off to the side while we're doing this so you've got your Headband, you've taped it all together. Now you're ready to start attaching your mouse ears. Mine are my giant mouse ears, but you can do this however you wish. So you're going to identify which part is the front, and then we're going to glue our ear onto it. So what you wanna to do to start is take one of those scrap pieces and put a little bit of glue on one end. You don't need to put glue on the whole end, just a little bit of glue on one end. And stick it to your ear. You're just gonna glue it right onto the back, stick it to your ear. Identify your ear here, my ear action. You're gonna glue your ears down then by taking it and making it like a L shape on your ear. So 
flat glue and then you need a little tab. And that tabby part, you're gonna stick a little more glue on it. And then you're going to glue it onto your headband. Maybe I could just glue mine up right now. So then you have your two ears, just like that. Need to add a little more glue just to stick mine together. Depending on how big your ears are that you made will depend on how well they stick. So you may have to add a little extra glue on there. So these are my two mouse ears. See if I can get over my bun. There's my mouse to go with if you give a mouse a cookie. So once you make your ears, take a picture and show us in the comments and have fun.